Hey guys, it's Jay Hendrick with the Hendricks Build Out Group at Keller Williams of Marketplace. And today we're at Chicago Title, one of my favorite places to start out a week. And we are meeting with one of the best in the business, John Sanders. So come on, let's go in, let's meet him. John Sanders, and as I said, I believe John Sanders is one of the best in the business when it comes to title. So today, uh, John, I just wanted to uh, really talk a little bit about the title process. People just sometimes just don't understand now why do we need title or, or what is title? So tell us a little bit about the title process. Okay, well first, thanks for the kind words. It's very, very kind of you. So we get that often. When people go into a real estate transaction, the primary question they have outside of, of acquiring or selling a property is, what is title? What, why do I need title? And there's many different answers, but the easiest way to say it is, when you acquire a property, you take title to it. And in order to take title to it, there needs to be a full search of all the records that are kind of attached, if you will, to that property. So if you are selling a property to me, I want to make sure that I take complete ownership of it. If you have liens against your property, if there's any uh, any type of encumbrance that would not allow me to take full ownership from you, that'd be a problem, right? I want to own the property that I take. So what title does is we search all of it, and then ultimately we give uh, a title insurance policy to the new owner saying that we've checked all the records, everything looks good, and here you go, Mr. John Sanders, you now own 123 Main Street. Another question that I get, do you represent one side or the other, the seller or the buyer? Or, or what does Chicago title, but who, whose side are they on? We are neutral, we're Switzerland, right? So we're an independent third party. We cannot do anything unless we're directed to do so by both parties in agreement, right? So when we get a contract, the contract is signed by the buyer and the seller. Uh, if there's any direction, anything that needs to be done, we can't do it unless we're told to do so by both parties. And we're the referee to an extent, but we're, we're neutral, we're independent, and we just act when told to do so. We really look at the relationship between buyer or seller and their agent and title, along with many other third parties that are part of the transaction as a team, right? And so you enjoy working with a specific escrow officer and somebody else enjoys working with a different escrow officer. It's, it's kind of like you've built up this trust, you've built up this rhythm, they know what you need and you know how they work and you just kind of get everything to the finish line in the best way process. So the client is coming to you because they want to buy or sell the home. They're trusting in you to make all the right decisions and to guide them down that path ultimately to get the deal closed. Well, John, I'll tell you, that, that, really, that really clarifies up the whole title process. And, and uh, tell me a little bit about Chicago title. How long have you guys been, the, been here in the valley? And, and oh, just boy. a little bit about it. Starts, yeah. It starts well before the valley. So Chicago title is originally from Chicago. We've been in business over 160 years. We're the nation's, part of the nation's largest title insurance group. But what I love about it is, um, although we are a national company, we're a Fortune 500 company, when it comes right down to it, we're Chicago Title Las Vegas, and we have escrow officers in, in, in four offices in town, and they act kind of, just kind of like a little mom and pop. Well, I will say this, I, I, I agree with all that stuff about Chicago Title. Chicago Title's got a great service and everything, but it's people like, you know, like Kerry Kassane and you, that man, meeting high quality people that really care about their job. I'm gonna tell you, as far as a realtor that's using your service or at least getting to be a partner with you in your service, you guys make it fun on, on our behalf as far as our team. Tell us a little bit about John Sanders. Who is John Sanders? Oh, I, I, I know he's the great title guy here, but who is John Sanders if we removed uh, Chicago title? Man, 
I, I mean, how far back do I go? I'm, yeah. I'm a Northern California kid that uh, had, a, had a dream of, of playing golf for a living, and uh, clearly that didn't work out. Um, but uh, I'm married uh, to an amazing wife. We'll celebrate 25 years next year. What is one thing you'd like to leave uh, people with? Oh, uh, okay. So we have a, a, one of our senior management guys, Steve DeLaviaga is his name. He said something in an event that I, I attended and I've just kind of adopted it, but it's fail forward. It's this idea of push yourself out of your comfort zone, do things that uh, you know, you're know you not comfortable with, fail at them, learn from them, push on, and, and then do it again. So fail forward. Wow. Well, John, I know you're extremely busy, and I really appreciate you taking out a couple minutes, spending some time with us, just to really shed some light on the real estate uh, industry and title here, and, and I really appreciate what you do, so thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.